What up everyone, I wanted to update my YouTube page. It's been a while since I've been here. Um, I sit at three months post-op. Um, I had RFF phalloplasty with Dr. Safer on June 11th. And uh, since it's been a while since I've updated my YouTube page and I wanted to talk about where I'm at. Uh, but first I wanted to update what happened between my first post-op and where I'm, I am now currently. So uh, let's get started. I left off on my first post-op appointment where they took my vacuum, um, uh, my wound vac off my arm. Between then and my second post-op, nothing really happened. Um, I was just, you know, monitoring my wounds. Uh, oh, cleaning uh, my dressings on my arm and waiting for the dressing on my leg to uh, come out. I did have an appointment with the microsurgeon and he looked at my arm and my leg and everything was fine. Um, and so yeah, nothing really much happened between then and my second um, appointment. Uh, what did happen in my second appointment was that I was given the green light to start my peeing trials and um, at in that appointment is where um, I noticed, or we noticed, the doctor noticed that I had some complications uh, down there with the surgery, and it was upsetting. Um, I had two fistulas, one between my penis and my scrotum, and one on the scrotum on my right testicle. Uh, I developed um, the tissue, and it had to be cut off uh, so that it wouldn't continue to decay. Uh, the rest of my tissue so they cut it off and I had an, now a little open wound that I needed to wait to heal uh, and I was told to put bacitracin on it uh, twice a day and change my gauze as I needed depending on how much blood was coming out because it was open opened and um, so at the same time though I was given the green light to start my pain trials. The doctor recommended me to do it first thing in the morning when your bladder is the fullest because you didn't go to the restroom all night. But uh, because your bladder is, you didn't drink anything all night, I noticed that I know my body that when I wake up in the morning, my urine's a little darker than usual because you don't drink while you're asleep. You don't drink water while you're asleep. So. Afraid of my peeing burning more because of the acidity or the acid in the urine, uh, I wanted to continue to pee through the catheter, which at that point and that second appointment, they took off my bag and gave me like a little valve or I don't know, something where I can close it and open it uh, to try and get my bladder to wake up. So I was told to pee through my penis once a day, and I would wake up, empty my bag, drink a lot of water, um, like about 16 to 32 ounces of water before I would go uh, use the restroom. And that would make me get this urge of going to pee that I could not stop because I was also scared. Uh, the doctor said I might leak through there. I didn't want to pee. So my anxiety came over me. Uh, so drinking water helped and um, I noticed on my first day trying, which was the second day after my appointment, uh, I did leak through my scrotum and it was sad and I was like, okay, fine. Uh, I freaked out and I stopped. I did feel a little burning sensation, but it wasn't as much as I thought that it was uh, gonna be. I think the water helped a lot. Uh, the next day, um, I peed and instead of like a little leak uh, stream-ish coming from the scrotum, it was now like a couple drops. And I was like, okay, good, 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 good. They gave me this container that I had to fill after I pee through my penis. I have to see how much remained in my bladder to see if I was releasing all of it and if it was safe for me to take off the, bla uh, the catheter. On my third try, I did not pee through my scrotum, and since then I haven't peed through my scrotum, thank God. So each day I filled up the container like this. And so 
um, on my third post-op appointment, I got my catheter taken off in that appointment. And I do want to say that I got a, a little bit of anxiety with that um, because, so I have a little story. When I got, when you get surgery, you get two um, catheters. Well, if you do it with Dr. Safer, I'm not sure of other doctors. Um, but you get a catheter in the penis so that the urethra can heal. And the catheter where you're using, you know, where your urine is coming out of. On your fifth day, on your last day, before you leave the hospital, you get the one in your penis taken out. And the doctor said I, it wasn't going to hurt to count to three. And when he said three to release, uh, take a deep breath and release on three, and he would pull. All right, simple enough. Oh my gosh, when he said three and pulled, or no, I'm sorry, he said two and he pulled, not only one did he lie to me, and I get it, you know, oh, when you're expected, blah, 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 I get that, but I felt pain and it hurt, and I yelled like ah because it hurt and he said man that's you felt more than anybody has i felt a pull and it hurt really bad so the like it continued the pain lingered i think when you get hurt and the pain lingers that's that's the worst and so the pain lingered for like i don't want to say like 30 minutes it was hurting and so I had a fear when they took out my catheter that it was going to hurt. Um, but, and talking about it, because I, I was searching that everywhere. Um, the pain from the catheter was nothing compared to the one from the penis. So if that's a fear, if anybody's looking at for that, it's, to me, it wasn't the same. And I am a big baby when it comes to pain. Um, my anxiety cannot tolerate it. Uh, I anticipate the pain and all my appointments that I've had I always do this and the doctor's always like does it hurt and I'm like no I'm just waiting for the pain to come and sometimes it comes and sometimes it doesn't depending on what it is but anyway so just that the all I felt was like something slipping slithering out of my body but it was not pain at all it was just eating. so yeah after my third post appointment um I just continue to pee through my penis and continue to put bacitracin on my scrotum and changing my gauze as needed. Um, so that's my update from my second and third post-op appointment. I will do another video talking about hand therapy and my scar treatment and where I'm at right now fully at three months and what I can and can't do. All right, till next time.